Hey guys, it's Olga here. January is almost over and that means Valentine's Day is coming up and it's time for us to make a healthy Valentine's Day dessert. Today I'm going to show you a recipe for chewy vegan brownies. And these brownies are free of dairy, they're free of white sugar and almost gluten-free. I'm actually going to tell you how you can make them completely gluten-free. So they're generally just healthier for you, but they taste delicious. So let's get started. We're going to start by preheating the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Grab an 8 by 8 inches baking pan and grease it with a little bit of coconut oil. In a large bowl, we're going to combine the dry ingredients. The first one is spelt flour. Remember how I told you the recipe is almost gluten-free? It's because we're going to use spelt flour instead of all-purpose flour. Spelt flour is much more nutritious and beneficial to our health than white flour and has significantly less gluten. If you're really worried about gluten, you can use oat flour for this recipe, which will make it 100% gluten-free. Next, we're going to add coca powder, a little bit of baking powder and salt. Whisk it all together and set aside. In a separate bowl, mix together agave or maple syrup, applesauce, melted coconut oil, almond milk, and vanilla. Now let's add the wet ingredients to the dry and mix until they're just blended. Finally, let's stir in dark chocolate chips. Pour the batter into the pan and smooth with a spoon or spatula. We're going to bake our brownie for 35 minutes or until the toothpick comes out clean. Let cool completely before cutting out the hearts. I'm going to use this 2.5 inch heart shaped cookie cutter. The brownie that we made will give us 4 hearts of this size. You can serve the brownie hearts just like this, but I like to dust them with a little bit of coca powder or frost them with this vegan chocolate ganache. The recipe for this ganache is already posted on my blog. Aren't these hearts just adorable? You can also garnish them with fresh berries and some homemade whipped cream. Now what about all these leftovers? You can definitely snack on them or you can make a completely separate dessert out of them. First, break leftovers into smaller pieces. Then start forming 1 inch balls, just like this. To decorate the brownie bites, use your imagination. I'm going to show you three coatings that I personally really like. The first one is coca powder. It actually makes brownie bites look kinda like truffles. The second one is shredded coconut. And the last one is crushed nuts. Here I'm using hazelnuts. And voila, the brownie bites are done. So you get two desserts for the price of one. Not bad. Thank you so much for watching. Happy early Valentine's Day, guys. But I'm sure I'll see you before that. I just wanted to say thank you for all of your comments, all of your likes. You guys don't realize it, but they mean the world to me. Sometimes I'll be having a bad day and then I'll read one of your comments and I'm like, well, this is amazing. You guys are the best. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe and if so, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for my healthy lunch, snack and dessert ideas like this one. I'm sending all of you warm hugs and kisses and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!